Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our granny beret and the last time we were finishing up eight through 11. How did you do? Do you notice it's gotten its natural shape here? I know it's hard to see because it's such a big piece of work, but it's got its natural little fold going on, doesn't it? I was super excited about that. I was like, ooh, we're getting there, yay. So we're moving right along. We're gonna start with round 12 this time. So we have a little bit of decrease on this, um, decreasing two double crochets together. So if you need help with that, I'm gonna put a short on the channel. Um, it should be on there already before this project goes out, just in case you need something a little slower or you need something to reference back to. So it's okay. We always figure it out, don't we? So we need to get over to that chain one space, just like we've been doing, or join in a new color, whichever way you've been going about it. But I'm using the same color, so I need to get over there with my slip stitching, right? Slip stitch in the first stitch, slip stitch in the chain one space, right? Now we're gonna chain three, so yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. All right, now we need a double crochet, I'm sorry, two double crochets in this same space here. So yarn over and enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, so there's one, Yarn over, enter, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so now we have the chain three and two double crochets, as if we have three double crochets, right? Yarn over and pull through for your chain one. Okay, now we're gonna go over here to our next chain one space from the prior row, right? And in here, we're going to, it's gonna be a little bit different, so it's just trying to Walk us through this a little bit. So we are going to give it one double crochet. So enter, yarn over, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And this is where we're gonna do our double crochet together, okay? So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna enter that same um, chain one space as that last double crochet. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two, right? Yarn over. Again, we have two on the shank, now we're yarning over, making it three. Go into the next chain space. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all three. And there you have it. That's double crocheting two together, okay? Everybody with me? So we double crocheted two together and that draw, drew up the first um, chain space and the second one, okay? Now we're gonna do one double crochet in this same space here. So yarn over and enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, okay? So now we have two double crochets in that same space there. Give it a chain one. So yarn over and pull through for your chain one. Now, we're gonna, this is our repeat section. So we're gonna do three double crochets in the next space. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, there's one, enter again, yarn over and enter, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, that's two, enter, this is the third double crochet, okay? And we give it a chain one. Now we're gonna go into our next space and give it one double crochet. So this is one double crochet right here, right? Everybody there? Okay, one double crochet in that next chain one space. Now we're gonna double crochet two together. So yarn over, enter that same space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go into the next space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, see how we join them up together? This is what we're gonna do, and we're gonna keep repeating this all the way around. So yarn over, we're gonna put another double crochet in here, okay? Make sure I'm in the same spot here. <laughs> another double crochet right here, and then a chain one. And then we start all over again. Three double crochets, right? So this is the three double crochet section. Here's one, here's two, and three, okay? 
and then chain one like always, right? So we have our chain one spaces for the next round. Yarn over, enter your next chain one space. This is one double crochet, and now double crochet two together. So yarn over, enter that same space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go into the next space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three, okay? Yarn over, go back in, give it one more double crochet in here and then a chain one. And then you're gonna repeat again with the three double crochets. So we're gonna continue this pattern all the way around and then we'll join it up together. Everybody set? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, that was my last double crochet right there and I gave it a chain one. So we want to join, right? So join at the top. Remember at the top of your um, chain three space and we're joining with a slip stitch. So pull through and there we go. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. I'm gonna pull this up so we can take a look. We can see it's starting to close in even more, right? That's what we want. We should have 24 of these clusters. 24 clusters all the way around, 24 of our chain one spaces. So count it out, make sure you have everything correct. And that is the end of round 12. We'll meet up next time for round 13. See you then, thank you, and have a joyful day.